Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day coming to you on a day that can be quite confusing for some, as the Christmas, you can say, enchantment leaves the air. (laughs) And also, we walk and literally are being led towards a new tomorrow because there's a full moon that is going to rise in the sky this day, asking you to clear away and to remove all darkness and all forms of the old from your life. So you're, you're really being prepared to walk and change and accept to create. But sometimes this is not something that we want to do. We're just happy with the familiar, right? It works for us, even if it's miserable. Misery is not you. Misery does not define you. Misery is not what God wants for you. And nor, the, nor do the divine ones want to see you suffering. That's not how you learn lessons. You will never learn lessons resenting something, right? You will only create more resentment in your life. Think about it. Does that work for you? No, right? So that is why, again, the most unconditional form of the light that is just ready to serve at a moment's call, at a heartbeat's call, you can say, right? They're just waiting to be asked to help you. And they're there. The angelic forces, the angels, your guardian angel has been there with you since you were born. So you literally have a guardian angel, have a guardian companion from the heavenly forces assigned to you. You're that that special. Most people are not aware of this and think that you have to do something special to earn a guardian angel. No, just being you is enough. And it's also not related to where you're born, what form of the body you have, what language you speak, what religion you follow. All of that is loved. Is lo- it makes you who you are. It's your blueprint. You're loved just the way you are. And today, many of those resentments or regrets or complaints that you might have about life will reemerge. But they reemerge for a good reason because of the energy of the full moon clearing away, bringing the new. It's like your blueprint, your canvas, your plate is being cleared. And you're going to shine again. That is why the archangel who is known and is really called upon the most, you can say, in the most popular in a way, because he literally brings the strength, the power of the Akashic spaces, the mind of God the heart of creator within you. Your thoughts will be one with God. Don't have to think divine father, divine mother, just creator. That's how loved you are right now. That's how eager heaven is to give you and to help you take a quantum leap forward, to not remain stuck, to not feel limited, Do not deny yourself. And also if you have ideas coming through, to trust them, to act upon them. That fire right behind him is literally the divine fire. Carrying also his own energy that he adds to that so beautifully. The sujalite crystalline fire energy. You don't have to remember the name. Even if you just say blue Indigo fire, I want to be one with you. I want you within my thoughts. In everything I say and do and consider and decide this day, divine indigo fire, burn away all that is unnecessary. See the words. You can try. You're safe. The angels are so close to you. So do not fear even one moment. Just keep on surrendering. Surrender your concerns. Look into his eyes every time you have a doubt. 
or that familiar sense of regret, of disempowerment, of depression, of sadness, of, oh, here we go again, comes. Look at what he's carrying for you also. Right there in the throat chakra is his copper disc of power. That's all you have to call it. It's just very, very simple names, purposely, purposefully, you can say, to make you succeed, to help you succeed, to help you rise, to define yourself, to define your situation, and to feel your wish is already fulfilled, you're living your reality. And expression doesn't always have to be verbal. This is one misnomer, you can say, a misunderstanding that has happened, that everything has to be verbalized. Expression can be written. Expression can be through even drawing (laughs) sometimes. Expression can be through meditation with Archangel Michael in your meditation, taking into a safe space in the Akashic spaces. However it is, however you decide to do it, you should feel excited You should feel encouraged, vibrant after that, energetic. Like you just received some new form of vitamin within you. And you're glowing with it. See his face? It's glowing. It's glowing with that light that's coming through, the blue indigo light. And he's sharing it with you so, so unconditionally pouring it through you in every way that you need it, in a situation, in a place, in activities, something you're deciding to do this day, what you want to start, but you're afraid of starting. You're just just like standing at the door and saying, should I open it or not? The should I? Let that statement leave. Leave your vocabulary. Because right there in front of you also, Right next to his heart chakra is a beautiful blue sujalite crystal. Empowerment, fearlessness, courage, knowledge, awareness, decision-making ability, whatever you want to enhance this day, wherever it is you feel you're lacking. And you might say that, oh, but there's something to do with my health. What will, how will Archangel Michael help me with that? Help me enhance that part of my chakra system, my body. Help me to know how to heal that. Which form of healing should I consider? Which form of healer should I go to? How long should I give myself to heal from whatever it is that I'm suffering from? Release it today. Don't hold on to it. It's not impossible. What you're asking for can be realized because see, he's carrying a huge, huge sword of light, which has so many faces. So that means everywhere you encounter an obstacle, he will cut it away from you. So keep on asking, Archangel Michael, please help me cut away. And feel as if your problem is is literally being cut into two and then is going back and transmuting back into light. It's not that you just cut it, cut it away for painful reason, but you're bringing miraculous changes around to you, to others, to space, however it is that you want to use this. But at least you're stepping back and allowing the miracle to occur. He's just there calmly, right? You don't see him reacting to the light in any way. His face is just looking straight into you. Be that determined to win this day. I only know light and love. I only know how to extend love and light to others and invite love and light to myself. That is you redefining again yourself as a being of light, as a child of light, remembering who you are and not denying yourself any form of the blessings that heaven wants to give you. Because see, the space behind him is so protected. 
It's effortlessly and gracefully flowing through. You don't have to in any way struggle or worry. That has no place in your life. That is why he's got huge wings. And this time they're not blue indigo, right? They seem almost close to what Archangel Gabriel usually comes with, copper, right? But fiery this time. Fiery form of expression that, yes, I will win. I am. That I am statement, make it win for you this time. I am a winner. I'm a child of light. I'm a person who allows miracles to come to me easily and effortlessly. I'm a person who receives miracles easily and effortlessly. I'm a co-creator with God. See, we already started. Make at least 20 such statements for yourself this day. You'll have fun doing it. And keep looking back to him. And the beautiful golden hair he's carrying on top of his crown for ideas. Literally, words will pour down. And this time left or right, doesn't matter. It's flowing with the light. Just flow along. Don't think about the past or the present or any of it. Just I am. What is it that you just want to be? And some part of your chakra system will react. You know what you want, right? You already feel better knowing it. Keep on doing that and more of that feeling will get enhanced. That's what really the Divine Ones want for you more than ever. Enhancement of all the good, the virtues, the joy, the blessings. That it not just remain on a card, that not just be in a meditation, that not be, you know, just momentary. That you just enjoy it in a meditation, then you come out and say, here we go again. The suffering, nothing has changed in my physical life. For physical life to show the sign this day, ask for that. And how do you ask for that? By again looking back at his heart chakra, absorbing all of that now this time, not just the crystal, but also the beautiful wings surrounding the crystal so you feel different. You feel differently. Let's put it that way. You're already feeling different. You know that what you're saying is not just esoteric. It's not just theoretical. It's not just in a book. It's not just part of a card deck. It's reality. And your reality will reflect it very soon. Quantum leaps will happen in one way or other as needed in the physical realm of your life. That is how faith gets enhanced, right? And the Divine Ones always want the best for you. So why will they deny you something that you need this very day? Maybe you're not well this moment as you're receiving this. Whatever way it might be. Maybe you have a bill to pay. You have something you have to, you're struggling with at home. Maybe you have disharmony in a relationship. Maybe a friendship, there's a misunderstanding that's happened. Maybe you have struggles in, in a workspace, in an office. Just keep looking back at this friend of the light, Archangel Michael. And these words literally are going to bring you back to a different form of life. Trusting heaven. It's not, it's not just for a day. That's why it comes so close to Christmas. That Christmas has left, but the magic that Christmas brings... The joy, the feeling, the empathy and caring, how relationships change, how people come together and believe again in miracles, in prayers, in angels, really. And it's not just related to one religion. It's about how you feel life to be. Define that for yourself, actually. What does life mean to you? Life is. And see how many statements are actually positive. And if they're not, that's okay. Again, go back to these words. You'll have to read them several times this day to have it like finally absorb into your deeper self, you can say, your higher self. 
she or he is right there helping you rise and embody these wings, the golden fire wings of change, transformation. That's what they are. So you're safe. Angels are standing close to you. And just surrender your concerns. Keep on surrendering. Take a deep breath even now as you listen to this. I surrender. Yes, Archangel Michael. I want to let go of, finally. And you might find something that you thought for years was just stuck with you, a cord that refused to cut. Archangel Michael is actually, you can say, the supreme commander of cutting cords and letting go of the past and letting go of that which does not work for you anymore. He will help you. Not now, just always, forever. So don't think of it as just momentary in any way. You can call upon him night and day. All of the angelic forces, all of the divine forces, really divine one. Create a nice team of light around you. That's why he's wearing so many things covering him. It's not just to shield for a moment, but to shield moment to moment when disempowerment, negativity, being held back, setbacks, patterns. Patterns will definitely repeat today. That's why these shielding, you can say, and these layers of light are all over him, right? Moment to moment. So not for one moment do you go back to the same that has occurred in the past. You're moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. But yes, it might be a struggle because you have to keep on believing and trusting and trying. But he's helping you with that in being that shoulder that you can lean upon. There's not one part of him that you cannot put your head down on, right? So consider him your good, unconditional friend. Does not judge. Empowers you in every way. Shows you the direction ahead through his wings. This time, I will not tell you what the left wing means and what the right wing means. Every day we do that, right? Because I want to empower you more and more, Divine Ones. You help me share these messages. And I want to give this gift back to you as a way to say gra- as, as a form of gratitude to say thank you for being here. And we can all go forward then. And as you look into each wing, each part of the wing, every moment only one part of the wing will, will make sense to you or your eyes will be drawn there, your attention will be drawn there. And you will be like, why only that? Ask him. Trust heaven. What form of a miracle are you bringing to me right now? What is it that I need to know? Your inner voice will be very strong this day. Intuition is very much being enhanced. Again, you will notice that you you repeat a form of receiving, either through thought, either through feeling, or vision, or just visuals, colors, symbols, sounds, songs, words, whatever it is, it's your unique form of receiving. Trust that and embrace that this day. It's like you're opening your palm and saying, yes, now I know how to close it again. It's like you didn't know how to close your palm earlier. You found a new way of bathing almost. So you're being bathed in heavenly light, in heavenly knowledge. The all forms of compassion holding you, speaking to you, where you can feel them, where you can see them. And moment to moment, word for word, ask, and you'll be led forward. Don't think you're being ridiculous if you ask every small detail, every small question and saying that, aren't I supposed to know this at certain age? Don't think of all of that. No theory. 
Just asking, just feeling, and trusting. That's how the miracle will come. Because you're not deciding how it comes. It, it'll just come. Quantum leaps are absolutely being decided for you, prepared for you. Surrender is nothing but just stepping aside and saying, yes, I'm so excited. Please. Trust is just basically what? You open the door and you expect a beautiful ray of light to fall upon you and lead you forward. And Archangel Michael this time is leading the way, saying, I'm right there as your guide and friend. So it's not like even you have to find out your arch, your archangelic friend name if you want to know who your guardian angel is or any guardian that you have in the archangelic realm that am i connected to somebody you want to know that go ahead good for you more knowledge but here you're already being given help by the divine ones you're already being given specific symbols here in the image here for you to decide how to use them and to feel the benefit of it in your own way and enjoying it, using it, applying it, and already being empowered. You're trusting. You trusted the image that, yes, it's revealing something to you. It will reveal it to you. You surrendered your concerns. You feel lighthearted already, lighter already, right? All that heaviness, the burden of worry is gone. And the miracle, it's coming forward. Literally burning away all the unnecessary and useless from you. And this comes to you so beautifully from the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the wonderful way that Archangel Michael flows to us visually, absolutely alive and fiery, comes to us through the art of Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com. So enjoy the full moon in every way. Feel complete yourself in every way. Fulfillment, blessings, joy, all is prepared for you. All you have to do is claim it. And this is Tina, signing off for now. And we meet again tomorrow. So enjoy yourself. Yes, yourself. And this day in every way. No task is something that you cannot cross or complete. So bye for now.